Hi, I'm going to show you how I made this out of this old hoodie. So start by cropping it just above the pocket and then flip it inside out. So the elastic I used was an inch wide, so I folded over the bottom of the hoodie about an inch and a half. So do the same as this for whatever your measurements are. And then sew along the top all the way around to create a tube. When you sew, make sure you leave a little gap between where you start sewing and where you finish sewing. And then you want to take your elastic and measure it around yourself, mine was 25 inches. And then use a safety pin to help you thread the elastic all the way around. Once you've done that, it should look like this. And then you want to just pin the two ends together and sew that. And then just push the elastic back in and you can close up this hole. And then it will look like this. Thank you for watching. I'm going to show you how I made this top. So start by cropping the top you want to use and then at the top draw a line just underneath the collar and when you get to each arm draw a line diagonally upwards like this and then cut that out. Then flip it inside out and then pin the bottom edge up just enough so that your elastic will fit in there and then do the same along the top. Then once you've done that sew both the top and the bottom along the edge so that you're creating a tube. When you're sewing, make sure you leave a little gap on the top and the bottom. This is where the elastic will go through. Then you want to measure the elastic around yourself. I did the bottom one as 18 inches and the top one as 24 inches. Then just use a safety pin to thread the elastic through the bottom and then the top. And then sew the elastic together on the bottom and on the top. And once you've done that, it will look something like this. Thank you for watching. Today we're going to learn how to make a corset. I've begun the process by cutting some blue painter's tape so I can draw out my seams on my mannequin so I can make my pattern. I'm using a thin cotton muslin fabric to make my pattern. After drawing the pattern out, I can then go through and perfect the pattern using my ruler that I bought at the Joanne. For today's corset, I'm going to be using this gray sparkly fabric because I think it's fun. It's time to cut our patterns out and begin stitching everything together. After I've stitched the glitter fabric and my lining fabrics together, I'm then going to press them flat and beautiful. Pressing the lining fabric is also important because I'm going to be sewing a boning in right on the inside seam of it. The next step is to stitch the lining and the outside fabrics together and then flip them inside out and press them flat and beautiful. I'm also going to add a modesty panel in the back of this corset so that when I sew the hook and eyes on, it protects the skin from the hook and eyes. A lot of people will do lace ups or eyelets, I just chose to do hook and eyes because it's what I had available and it looked pretty. And here you have my finished corset. I hope this helped you guys out. I'm going to show you how to make this top. Start with your fabric folded in half and draw a diamond shape where each of the edges are 11 inches. And then cut this out and you should have two identical pieces. So the fabric I use actually came with straps already but I'm going to show you how to make straps from any extra fabric that you've got. So for this you want to cut out four strips that are an inch wide and 19 inches long. Fold the two edges into the middle and then fold the whole thing in half and pin it. Once you've pinned it, you want to sew in a straight stitch all the way down. 
Here's what it will look like when you're finished. Place one of the pieces of fabric right side up. Then place off your straps. You want a little bit to hang off the edge. You're going to place two in the middle and one on each side. And then place the other piece of fabric on top and sew all the way around. When you sew it, leave a little gap and use this to turn the whole thing the right way around. And then once you've done that, here's what it should look like. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a lettuce hem. This is my favorite way to finish off items made with stretch fabric. Now fabric choice is very important here because it does not work on all fabric. You need something with a lot of stretch. First, change your machine to a zigzag stitch. Next, change your stitch length to the shortest length possible. Make sure your fabric is positioned so that the needle goes off the fabric on one side of the zig. When doing a lettuce hem, this is one of the only times it is okay to stretch your fabric while you sew. The zigzag stitch creates somewhat of a wrapped effect on the edge of the fabric. So doing this on stretched fabric means that the edge will stay that length while the rest of the fabric will snap back to normal, leaving this wavy effect on the edge. The more you stretch the fabric, the bigger the waves will be. 